Let's see. Here we are. Here we are. How's this? It's gonna be pretty fun, I hope. We are in the Norwegian Sea, everybody, and I think we still got we got three days and seven hours left. Then we need to pump some more money into it. But uh, yeah, everybody, this is gonna be pretty fun. The Norwegian Sea. Everything that they decided to leave out and call the wild the angler, <laughs> we, we've got available to us in Russian fishing for. So let's go catch some ocean fish, shall we? Here's our boat we're going to be taking as well. Looking forward to it. Who's in the chat, though? We got Crazy Zebra, the Zebra, Taven, States, Logan, Salmon, Lanky, Baller, Salty, Bacon, Lucas Outdoors, Mr. Anime, Fishing, Lisa, McCarty, Cindy, Phipps, is he playing Fishing Planet or Russian Fishing? Russian Fishing. I just haven't made a, um... I haven't made a... Echo's Deep View. I haven't made a specific, uh... Intro screen just for Russian Fishing, so... So, yeah. What we got. It's what we got right now. Oh, I was hoping we'd be able to stand up and go look. Bye, town. Bye, village. Ooh. All right. Get back inside. We, we got, we got, we got places to go. Places to go. Fish to catch. Uh, how's it going? Hope better than you. Oh, God. I don't know about that. Lisa, Salty Bacon, Logan, Cole, AJ, AJ, MV Trunder, Bradley, Avoid Demigod, These, Scarlet King, 17, 117, Bradley, Legendary Fishing's in the house, Cindy Phipps, 
make a deal. No one's steering. Yeah, I know. I was hoping I could just put, like, the cruise control on or something. A cool little boat, though. I've seen these waves get pretty, uh, you know, pretty crazy. But the times I've been out so far, it hasn't been too bad. It hasn't been too bad. There's a good amount of fish right there, too. Ah, there's a good, yeah, good amount of fish everywhere. Play the Hunter Classic. I tell you what. If you say that to me one more time, Lucas, I swear to God. <laughs> I swear. I haven't banned anyone for the longest time. But I'm so sick of seeing you say that every single stream. You're driving me crazy. Are you going to make a beginner series video for the Congo? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. If I feel like it. Where should we go first? Go down to this 41 bit. Maybe we'll go down to that 41 bit. Uh, ocean fishing, you're on your way. Yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit of ocean fishing outside of Norway, evidently. So this is the Norwegian Sea uh, map in a Russian Fishing 4. We're going to go out here and see what we can catch today. It should be pretty cool. I came out here time before. Caught a good amount of fish. Uh... I don't want to. I don't want to go ahead and like talk about the fish I was catching already, because you know then it'll ruin the surprise. But uh, but yeah, should be pretty fun. I'm thinking it's uh, it's interesting. Uh, all I have available to me right now, with this little uh, bit that we're able to play, is a jigging setup. So we're gonna be throwing off the uh, off the edge of the boat, doing some jigging and waiting for some fish to come by. Boy, lots of fish down there. Little deep area. But uh, we will start in a more shallow section with uh, littler fish, and uh, and yeah, see what we can catch. Seems to be a lot of fish on the radar. Slow down to maybe fish this uh, this area right on the edge here. Right on. Slot is empty. What do you mean, slot is empty? Do, 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 do. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, so one cool thing you can kind of do is look and see where the fish are and then literally just drop down to that depth. It's kind of neat. We're just going to let it drop down. Let it go all the way down to the bottom. We can see in the bottom bottom here we got 15 meters, 20 meters, 25 meters, 30 meters. This guy was at 46 we saw on the radar or the sonar. We're going to stop it once it gets down there. All right, now... Now we're just doing a little jigging motion and waiting for the fish to come along. And you should be able to tell when you finally have a fish because this little motion of you uh, jigging will become uh, like that. <laughs> and you know you've got one on. So now we just reel her in, boys. Didn't we just reel her in? But I've heard a lot about it. Hey, right on. Is it fun? It is fun in its own way. It's a lot different than the other fishing games out there, which is, I think, what makes it fun. Um, different than Fishing Planet. Different than Call of the Wild, the Angler. Um, so if, you, if you're looking for a more realistic fishing experience, uh, this is it, basically. Whoa. A little bit heavy. Oh, no, no, no way. No way. Is this a wolf fish? Bro. You've got to be joking me. I think we need to increase my uh, friction brake to be able to roll, reel this guy in these last few feet. Bro, I tell you what, I have been playing this. Oh my god, you've got to be joking me. I've been playing this for like an hour and a half, and I've just been catching little fish this entire time. You've got to be kidding me. Look at this thing with its teeth. <laughs> Oh my, I'm so happy this happened during a live stream. Oh, I tell, I've just been catching little fish this entire time. 
and now to catch this guy during the live stream for all you guys. This is awesome. Look at this dude. <laughs> would you give that thing a kiss? Tell me the truth, would you? Would you kiss him on the lips? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look at this. Four, nearly 5,000 premium XP. Almost 10,000 XP additionally. Goodness gracious, man. What a freaking monster. Seriously. I would not put my hand anywhere close to that fish's mouth. That is ridiculous, dude. Look at the muscle in its body, too. Yeah, that's wild. What a cool model. That's awesome. Now, the question is, do we release it for an extra 6,500 XP, or do we keep it? That's the question. That's the question. Oh, man. I think, you know what? You know what? We gotta keep this guy. We gotta keep him, see what we get in return for this guy. I wanna see how much that fish is worth. That's so crazy. Six pound bass the other day. Dude, nice. Six pound bass, that's pretty sweet, man. Getting back down to that 46. We'll have to see on the sonar if that's where they still are. Oh, I saw one go by at 45 there, but it was a little bit ago. We'll let it, we'll, we'll try for a little bit. We might need to move on a little bit. Do you need money or XP? We need, we need the, we need the money is what we need, boyo. Can you play the Congo on Wednesday? Is that what we're thinking? Someone else asked for Amazonian May, so we might need to do like a, like a survey to see a uh, poll or something to see what people want more Amazonian maze or the Congo You thought I was playing fishing nor the lander for the longest time Well, I tell you what that's the coolest thing though because I remember when we were playing fishing North Atlantic for gaming month And I got a lot of comments asking, you know, can you fish with a rod a rod unreal in fishing North Atlantic and the answer is no, you can't. You know, you can you know, the closest you get is like a harpoon, right? And then you reel it in with the harpoon. Um, but this is this is the North Atlantic, right? You can go out here with your rod and reel, do some jigging, do some lures or whatever you want to do. Do that, uh, do that fishing with the rod and reel that you were wanting in the in the North Atlantic. But look at these waves carrying this boat, man. Just moving us along. Man, you honestly, in terms of the water quality for this map, could you have asked for anything better? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. This is either moving our boat or there's a small fish on it. Because the line's way off where it wasn't, I guess. Is this map out already, or do they let you test? No, it's out already. It's been out for weeks, months. I'm not sure how long. It's been out for a bit. We just were never a high enough level to you to uh, you know play on it. So, so we're giving it a shot today, boys. Delta, is this on Xbox? Not only PC, unfortunately. Nope, nothing. Just lure. Okay. So maybe we're just being carried a little bit. Let's move the boat a little bit because we're not seeing anything on the radar. Of course, it could be that uh, the current is just kind of moving us along. Current is just moving us along at the moment. There's some fish on the radar. There's some fish on the radar. Let's go get him. 7.26 pounder today, my god. Well, that, that means that uh, tomorrow he's gonna catch an eight pounder, right? Something? We're moving on up. Goodness gracious. Got you into, into that game? Really? I, I don't really have many um, many videos for that game, so that's, I'm glad, you, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's a three pound bass, but I can't get up the bank because I had a light tackle because I just hoping for a rock bass. Oh, okay. I see, I see. 
see is that there now we've got shark fishing we want shark fish or well, what are you gonna do we're we gonna go to the Congo or we're we gonna fish for sharks in the in the maze that's the question you're excited to see what all we catch man I am too at this point after that wolf fish the like I said though the uh, the ocean current is is very different than the last day I was fishing out here so I'm curious to see just how the fishing differs from day to day just based off of how the current is basically so we're we have this little jigging uh spoon sort of thing and uh you can attach some bait on there to like get extra attention i guess have that kind of smell quality um but i haven't tried that yet if anything we might have to go back to port get some bait to try Get some bait to try, and then we can see what we get there. Oh. Do that. There's a little fish down there, but he's not going for this. Doesn't seem to, anyway. So there's like a short jigging and a strong jigging. You can do... Uh, short little bursts like this or you can go all the way up and then let it down That's the strong jig and they call it perking. I guess I'm not sure if that's just a uh, like a Russian or Norwegian term or something like that But we don't I'm not sure could be a big difference, and I just don't understand it How do you get to test it early? I, I don't this has been out for weeks. I've already said this What have you missed? You missed a ginormous, not very big actually, but uh, an Atlantic wolf fish, man. That was super sweet. With some other carp fishing YouTubers, I I don't know if they if they want to. I'm not I'm not against it. The rule when it comes to collabs, right, in in YouTube, is that um, the larger channel has to ask the smaller channel. That's just usually how it goes. Because the larger the channel, the more often they get asked by people to play with them or do something with them. So it's it's very difficult at times even to reach larger channels um, because they've closed off so many ways of communication because they get contacted so often. You know, the, you might never see them contact you or communicate with you via Discord or, or you know, Instagram or Facebook or anything just because they may get few dozen messages a day you know if not more and so they, they just shut off all communication there's a fish there's a fish here we go boys killing it trying to catch a nine pounder this year nice did you guys see your mother on mother's day so not technically on mother's day but we did get to see her the day before so yeah we drove back to kansas or i guess we flew back to kansas and then drove to wisconsin from there here we go. Oh my, this is another different fish. No, it's not. No, it's not. So, this is a safe. Otherwise known as a Pollock, evidently. This is another, um... Another word. The official silver team! Wow, the official one! So this is technically uh, a Pollock, I believe. I believe. Pretty sure. I'm 90% sure. Because I think they also have Haddock. And I want to say this is the Pollock. Anywho, so they, you'll catch a lot of these guys. This is uh, about four pounds, so that's cool. Four and a half pounds, maybe. But nice, 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 nice. Any more fish on the sonar? Not really, not really. I'm going to keep moving the boat just a bit to kind of follow that edge where that big change in depth is. Hope that we see more fish along there. Well, there's a huge change in depth, though, isn't there? I'll turn the boat ever so slightly. Goes from uh, 45 to nearly 100. Just n not very, not very much there either. What fish are we hoping for? So, like I said, I. D I didn't want to ruin it, you know. If I if I told you all the fish that are down here, then you'll then you'll know everything that's down here. So I thought we'd keep it kind of a surprise. 
Um, but we've caught two fish so far. We've caught two fish so far. And there's other ones out here, so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep on fishing, and hopefully, when we catch them, then you'll get to see what other types of fish are out here. But but there's uh there's three or four different ones now that I've caught, uh five, maybe six, uh, different species that I've caught so far, and there are plenty more. Um, those are just the ones I've been catching so far. So. Yep. 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 120 pound unique tarp on blue crab. Very nice. Derek, how's your day? My day's great. How's your day, Derek? Trophy walleye watching your stream. Very nice, David. Congrats. Reminds you of slow pitch jigging. Is that fun? <laughs> oh, I hear a dog on approach. How do you get to test any game? Uh, well, usually developers reach out to you, or you reach out to the developers, and then, uh, and then they allow you to play them, but this has been out for, this has been out for a while. Just now trying to play it, I guess. Someone, hello? I think they think you are playing the Fishing Plan Ocean update release. Well, that's silly, because it literally says in the title, Ocean Fishing the North Atlantic and Russian Fishing 4. So why would you think I'm doing this in another game? What's your favorite fishing game so far? Ah, uh, I mean, probably Fishing Planet, to be quite honest. But I like I like different fishing games for different reasons. This one's a bit more realistic, and we've pretty much finished Fishing Planet, at least for now. So until they add some new content or I don't know something new to do. It's nice to have other fishing games that are kind of fun and, and not the same as Fishing Planet, you know? Russian Fishing 4 is quite a bit different than Fishing Planet. And so to be able to uh, enjoy one and then go enjoy the other, it's kind of nice. That was a little weird drop there. Professional bass fishing soon? Really? What's your favorite kind of trout? Yours is the marble trout. Ooh. Um, I always thought that the tiger trout looked pretty cool. Well, what is that? A brown trout and a brook trout? I can't remember what is the tiger trout a mix of. It's a mix of two different ones. But they, they look pretty cool. I, and I've always thought the brook trout were pretty as well. But, but I can't think of what the marble trout looks like at the moment. You bought a new rod. Very cool. How the new fish mechanic and fish plant when the update releases? Uh, I believe it'll technically just be pretty similar to how it is now, but if it's a big fish, you won't be able to muscle it in. Duke! Duke with the sub. Thanks, Duke. Um, you won't be able to muscle it in. You'll have to, you know, pull up the rod like I'm doing right now and then reel in that slack like we just did. And, uh, and that's how you'll, you know, be able to reel them in. So... Boy, there were fish on the radar, but they're just not showing up right now, boys. Oh, just put the rod away then. That's a very wide array of species. Yeah, I'd say so. Catching some dolphin. No dolphin. No dolphin. Move along. Move in a different direction. Find where those fish are. go kind of slow that way we can watch the sonar and more like real time so you go faster obviously then you know you start passing over a lot of fish and by the time you stop you've kind of passed them over there's some fish they're right at 43 45 see if they go after this 
starting to get dark almost 10 o'clock at night 25 meters 30 meters very official very nice how am i doing today i'm doing quite well how are you all right we just hit the bottom at 45 so let's see if we get anything's attention we are um you know we are making some decent moolah or at least we have been but um would be interesting to try the bait on the end of it as well how do you catch the tarpon on the Everglades? We actually have a video about that. I'd recommend just watching that. It'd be easier than me trying to remember how to how to do it. Semester exams tomorrow. Hey, well, good luck, Gavin. Amsterdam, how's it going? You're late. Ah, you're right on time. You made it. Fran, how's it going? How am I? I'm doing quite well. Thanks for asking, Amsterdam. You got me in the fishing planet, BT Dub. Hey, glad to hear it, David. Having fun? Are we, play, are we streaming fishing plan on Wednesday? That's what it seems like. Yep. Sounds like that's the plan. Bro is starving. Starving for fish. I'm starving for fish. You've made it to a live, Ryan says. So glad to hear it, man. Your first fish is a 210-pound trophy piraiba. It's not too bad, is it? Ever unique? Yep, we're gonna keep on going. I wouldn't just stop five fish in, eh? Love your vids. Thanks, Milo. You got a 34 pound for a catfish. Very cool. Neato, Lucas. Where do you catch sharks? In Russian fishing? I think the one video I saw of a shark was over in this... 103 I believe it was over in this 103 79 kind of light bluish area 120 along here they were using a heck of a rig it would take me a little bit of direction to figure out how to uh, how to set that up but uh, but uh, but yeah it's quite a deal Oh, we got one. Okay. I was going to say, boy, that line is acting weird there. That rod is bent over, is it not? Not a lot of drag, though. No. It's, uh, we are at 28 on the friction break, and, and it's not really doing too much, but that rod is bent over. <laughs> oh. And take a little take a little picture there boy that doesn't look like real life fishing what does another uh, Pollock looks like it a bigger Pollock though yeah almost a 5 kg Pollock there very nice that's a bigger one take that got a 4500 XP with that one too jeez Louise jeez Louise man we just drop it down to 45 again, see what we catch. Not seeing any fish on the radar, the sonar right now. Maybe that wasn't the greatest greatest move there. Kinda spooky out here at nighttime. Whoa! There's a big fish. Just showed up at 42. I don't know. Maybe we'll drop it back out. It's interesting because I mean, you just kind of hope that whatever fish is down there, they go for your little uh, your little lure that you're using. That said, it was at 42, so we got 20 right now. 25, 30. We'll drop it down a little bit past 40 and start pilking. Sounds weird to say. Hopefully we get its attention. Perking, not pilking. <laughs> God, they both sound bad, but perking sounds better than pilking. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound good.
Make his way to level up from 46. Congo DLC, Fishing Planet. Fishing Planet. We'll just go on the BZ Hub and, and uh, look up sharks. Starving the game. Look at the food bar. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that. We can eat some carrots or something. My uh, my guy in Fishing Planet eats healthier than uh, than I do in real life. And that's okay. <laughs> I don't... What? You hungry? You hungry for the uh, fifth time today? I eat some more carrots. Uh, catch catch fish in the Congo, Tom. You'll uh, you'll level up, man. You got it, so you might as well do it. Kelly, how's it going? What do you recommend for catfishing in Fishing Planet? What do you mean? What do I recommend for catfishing? What do you mean, Dawson Turner? With the 1999, Annie Dawson caught us a fish. What are the chances? Right as he gives us that. We catch a fish. Suspicious? I think Dawson just bought us a fish. I think he paid f Russian fishing for that. Goodness gracious. Well, thank you, Dawson. Golly goodness. Why not for some bottom fishing? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do we got this time? Another Pollock, maybe? No! This looks like a haddock. Oh, this is literally a Pollock. Well, now I'm totally thrown off. So this safe is a type of Pollock, basically? Or part of the same family? Look how much freaking experience this fish just gave us. 7,000, 20,000. Like, if we released it, we would get nearly 30,000 XP from one fish. That's ridiculous. Well... I didn't know that there were actual Pollock in the game. <laughs> I just assumed that the Saith were like some Russian way of calling Pollock Saith or something. <laughs> well, that's my first Pollock I've caught. That's pretty neat. Goodness gracious. Oh, I gotta take some, some screenshots of this guy. Neat. It's fun. Okay, cool. Well, do we release it for an extra 10,000 XP? That's the question. I'm thinking not. I'm thinking we're keeping this guy. We need that moolah. We need that money, everybody. I think it was Dawson that got it. He's the one that got it for us. How many fish can you keep catching them in Russian fishing? So, there is a limit to how many fish you can catch. Um, and it's right here in this keep net. We can keep 150 fish. So we have four out of 150 right now. Here's that crazy Atlantic wolf fish that we caught not too long ago. Crazy looking fish. And then uh, we have the Pollock and the two Saith so far. So that's pretty cool. There is one fish down at 44. Let's drop this puppy down. Get that, get that fish. Bored of fishing planet? You know, I get bored of everything. The fishing planet character makes the photosynthesis. Hey. Hey, he now needs that photosynthesis to grow. He's partly plant-based, don't you know? All right, fish at 44. This is for you. Isn't this a really good-looking fish here? Going up and down looks tasty. When do I think the offshore will come out in Fishing Planet? I'm thinking like mid to late summer. Is what I'm is what I'm picturing it at. Like they said that they're gonna keep putting out dev diaries to give us more information. They put out like one dev diary a week or something like that. So I don't know. I'd say it's at least I don't know two months away or so. If I had to guess. Love the channel, you're the only reason I got to level 28 in Fishing Planet. Hey, right on, Dawson. Well, appreciate it, man. We need the North Carolina sea fishing game. Oh, yeah? Would be pretty cool. Best hunting fishing YouTuber. Wow, well, heck, thanks, Joshua. 
What's the progress on the free to play series account? We uh, were fishing for pike just the other day to make some money to buy the uh, $66,000 fish for XL. That's essentially where we were. Then I was gone from Thursday to Sunday. So did I get any further over the weekend? I did not. I mean, there's Mississippi saltwater fishing at Blue Crab, so it's pretty it's pretty close, just not offshore. Why do you run a delay? You're not playing PvP. I, I didn't know I was running a delay, to be quite honest. Best fishing hunting YouTuber. Well, thank you. Speaking of fishing planet, I'm playing it right now. Good deal. In the world. In the world, Joshua says. Thank you, Joshua. Goodness gracious. What's my largest bass in real life? I don't know, like two pounds or something like that. I don't know. What's your largest sailfish in real life? You don't fish for them. You don't really have much of a PB, do you? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't fish for bass, so I don't really. One time I caught a two pound bass. Probably where it's at. Is it a good way to remember fish, or do you think that it's better to release it and just take a photo? Well, you can do both. They have uh, they have reproduction fish now, like the tiger fish back there. You think I lugged a stinky fish from Zambia all the way to the United States, or do you think I just took the length of it and then just had a reproduction made? So take your photo, throw it back. Then go online when you get home and order a reproduction of the size of fish you got. Got a 12 pounder the other day? That's a big fish. Better post a photo of it in the Discord. You know how it goes. No photo, no happen. What's your largest fish? Oh, I got you. I got you. I got, I got, I got a thing for that. I got a thing for the biggest fish we got. And Zach was there. Zach, Zach knows. It was also one of his biggest fish that day. There's still a fish at 43 right now. We should be close to. Show us up close with the tiger fish. Should we? Is it that kind of day? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Is that even though you know I, I like the idea of reproductions, the the teeth, the teeth are not great. Like the the real tigerfish teeth do not do not look like that. You know that's like a werewolf in a scary movie or something like that. The real tigerfish teeth were more like uh, I don't know these these ones over here. You know the smaller ones, but it had an entire mouth of them. You know, so it was still it was still. Like, I wouldn't want to put my hands anywhere close to it, because you don't want teeth that big going in, that big going into your hands either. But, uh, just, yeah, just imagine an entire mouth of teeth that are kind of like these smaller ones here. Definitely wouldn't feel good if you, if you got it stuck in your hand, that's for sure. But, pretty fish. You know, with the orange fins and, uh, and all the black scales and stuff like that. Pretty, pretty, pretty fish. Ah. Certainly not the biggest either. You know, I've, I've seen bigger tiger fish. That's still cool. Cool memory. When are you going to St. Croix again fishing plant? I don't know. I don't know. You're downloading Russian Fishing 4 right now? Hey, give it a go, man. It's a bit slower in Fishing Plant, I think. I don't know. It, it honestly depends. It's got a big luck factor, simply because it is similar to Fishing Planet. Or, uh, 
similar to real life is what I meant to say. Sergey, I hope I'm saying that right. Sergey, Serge, Sergey. Fission full baths right now on Fishing Planet. What? Nope, I don't, Lucas. So when I was younger, but got bored of them. PB's nine pounds. Hey, that's a good one. If I caught a nine pounder, I'd probably stop and not for fish for them. <laughs> but but like that's just kind of how I see all things in life. Like if I do pretty good to the point where I've you know pretty much maxed out my potential, unless I devoted my life to doing better. Like there's some guys like uh, like Captain Kirk down in Texas. You know he's caught a. 300 pound alligator gar or whatever according to him nine feet long or whatever like if i had caught that like i i mean i i and i've caught a big alligator gar too i don't know if i'll ever go fishing for them again simply because i don't think i'll ever beat it like it was it was fairly lucky just the one we caught and i think it would take me a good 10 years of fishing just to catch a bigger one well, look at this. We didn't even have to do anything. We just sat here with the lure in the water and a fish came along and grabbed it. That's my type of fishing. Show us your remake of the alligator gar. What do you mean the remake of the alligator gar? The, I was talking to someone again about uh, what it would cost to uh, get a get an alligator gar made. Nice. Another little safe, top notch. We can sit, we can stand on the uh, the tip top of the boat here if we want to. What's that say? Starfish boats. All right, boy, there is fish. Okay, I was gonna say, should we move on into somewhere else? But no, there's still fish here. Maybe they're just not hungry for this one. We can change colors too. We're still using that kind of chrome blue. Uh, lure right now but we could switch to something else and might get some different fish how your dog doing doing quite well thanks for asking we got we picked them up from the uh, boarding place so uh so yeah they were they were happy to be home took a big nap whoa all right all right we're hooked up we're hooked up boy that's taking a little bit to reel in there boys Oh, we've got a monster. We've hooked a monster. Let's go, man. So this, when you're asking how does the, the new fishing mechanic work in Fishing Planet, this is what you're experiencing. We've got a heavier fish. We can't, if we're trying to reel it in, look at how much trouble he's having trying to reel this fish in. Real slow, right? But if we lift the rod up, Right, we create some slack in that line, then we're able to reel in a lot more line real quick, right? So we're, we're lifting up, ooh, pulling some line out too, okay. Reeling in that slack, and that's kind of how we're gonna see that new fishing mechanic, or that reeling mechanic in Fishing Planet when it comes out for the ocean fishing map. Russian Fishing 4 already had it, but uh, but it's gonna be new and exciting for Fishing Planet. You're telling me you don't have a six foot alligator? <laughs> I I don't yet. No, my wife. Uh, I think if I did get it, I'd have to just go for the living room. I'll put it. I'll put it in the living room. Allison will just have to uh, just realize that that's one of the great triumphs of my life, and it's gonna it's gonna be in the living room. Pulling that line. My goodness. No, no. Did we lose it? <gasps> no. In the last five meters, you've got to be joking me! How sad! How sad! Oh! Oh, I rushed it. I must have rushed it. I didn't even get to see what it was. That's so sad. Russian fishing for Henil. What were you thinking? <sighs> okay, that's okay. We'll recover. That was probably the biggest fish of the day. I hope, I hope not. I hope we get bigger ones. Here we go. Positive thinking. It's all about the positive thinking. Super, because most places charge $10 an inch. Yeah. 
Yeah, I hear you. There is a big delay. Is there? I don't think there is. I think I think what you guys are misinterpreting as a big delay is when I'm reading your chats. When the next chat comes on, I'll read it immediately so you can see what the delay is. Just waiting. Waiting for the next chat. Species, what's your favorite fish species that catch in real life? What's my favorite fish species to catch in real life, I'm assuming? Uh, I mean, you used to be carp, man. Still like fishing for carp. But I'm not a species guy, man. I'm not like a, I stick to one species. I like also I like fishing for everything. There's another fish. Here we go. Here we go. Level 45, what grind should I do for XP? Sturgeon web bait. I, I mean, I would just watch the sturgeon fishing video, man. It's got multiple ways of catching the sturgeon out there. I'm assuming another safe. If I had to guess what this is. Yep. Yeah. Little five and a half kg safe there, though. It's nice. Boy, the Pollock sure give you a lot more XP, don't they? I mean, this is like 5,000 plus, but, uh, yeah. That's okay. Let's see what the sonar says. There's still fish around here. Man, I wish we could have caught that big one. Look, there's still big fish showing up on the radar, though. We found a nice little spot here. There's some good fish. There is some good fish out here. Just got out of the shower, haven't caught a stream in a while, glad to be back. Hey, Ty, glad you are back, man. It's always good to see people look back in, back again, back again. Here we go, here we go. Didn't mean to reel in line. YouTube's been slow the last 20 minutes, barely loading, oh man. What are you what are you doing, Zach? 80 pound Wells Cat and Fishing Planet? Nice! You should see how big the Wells Wells Catfish get in in Russian fishing. I uh I wanna say that the biggest Wells Cat in Russian fishing was like 450 pounds or something like that. This is a weird one, man. Look at the rod going up and down. We haven't seen one like this yet. is going on nothing special I guess it's a Pollock I'll take a Pollock freaking crazy XP man should we change out lures and see what we can catch with something a little bit different there is another decent lure I've seen a lot of people catching fish on, and it is this one right here. Last, what is this? 12 centimeters. centimeters. This one's got a bigger hook on it, I believe. Try this one. Try this one, see if we get anything different. Once you got fish on the line, press control R and B for the hook set. Control R and B. Is that right? Didn't realize that that was a thing. That's interesting. Why would you need to hit Control R and B for a hook set? Why can't you just lift up the rod? That's so silly. Got the biggest fighter shark on Xbox Fishing Planet? Nice! 
Yo, you think it's 300 kgs in Russian fishing? I was gonna say, let's see. We can look it up. We can look it up. Records. Absolute records. No, yeah, it's 219 kgs. 219 kgs. What, about 450, 400, 400 plus pounds? It's a giant. It's a giant fish, that's for sure. Go catch a Wells catfish, please. Now, unfortunately, not a saltwater fish. You know, we're here in the ocean. Why does this line keep moving to the right? There's been a number of times where I've, uh, haven't caught anything and, like, started reeling in just to, you know, just, uh, move somewhere else and then reel in some super small fish. Uh, interesting. What's the funniest looking fish in this game? I, I don't know. I, I always keep my eye out for a fish that kind of looks like my brother just to get an idea of something that may look funny. But, um... But no, I, I haven't really noticed too much. I can go stand on the... Stand up here. Have you caught any big fish in the stream so far? Man. We came close to a pretty decent fish. It seemed anyway. But, uh... But yeah, no, unfortunately. Missed out. So I did the the left click, uh, the control right click there. Hopefully it uh, hopefully it worked. It is fun. I'll have to give it a I'll have to give it a go. I'm not looking for recommendations at the moment. Just fishing the ocean. So uh, if you, if you have ideas for videos and stuff, it's always worth uh, you know putting it in the recommendations part of the Discord. And I'll always do that. Here's another safe. Went for that yellow, green, and red uh, pilker there. Per perker? Daniel, thanks for the sub. I can never remember the freaking name of this motion we're doing. Perking? It's a perking jig. Something like that. 482 pounds. Thank you, Damien. Fishing plan is hard enough, and they're going to make it harder in this new update. I don't think it's gonna get harder per se. I think it'll just be a more uh, action-packed reeling mechanic, I guess. I'm not sure. Whoa, we have drifted over into some deeper water, boys. Oh, whoops. Wouldn't be too bad if there were some fish on the sonar, but there's nothing. Should we just let it go down? There's a fish that... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, if there's a fish that shows up on the uh, sonar, it won't be too bad. It says we're on the bottom. But I don't believe it. Sonar says the bottom's 112. We're at 75. So that says it's at 67. So that fish says it's at 67 right now. Had several people say they are making it harder. Oh yeah. Had a tiny fish on, didn't even notice till you reeled in. Oh yeah. Especially when you're like carp fishing or something like that and like Maybe you get like a beep and then like uh and you're then you're like, okay, is it gonna go? Or did it just nibble or something like that? And then uh, half an hour later you reel it in and you have this small bull head on or something like that. Classic carp. Classic carp move there.
best YouTuber ever. Wow. Thank you, Kelly. All right. I'm not seeing any fish on the radar. I was thinking 115 feet. If there was something big that showed up, we, we'd go for it. Since we missed out on that other one. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. Getting a little tugboat and fishing plan with the saltwater map that's coming. I mean, that's what uh, it seems like we're going to be getting some sort of little boat. I mean, it's not little either. I mean, it's big enough to have some friends on it, right? Should we switch back to the chrome and blue lure, or should we um, stick to this green and yellow and red one? Russian fishing on consoles? Unfortunately not, no. I wish it was. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Two fish showed up right there. Some more fish showing up. Right at that 45 mark. 46 so-so. In Fishing Planet. Ah, uh, add a small yacht as a cash grab. I, I assume they will add in some sort of DLC. I'm not sure how different the boat will be in comparison to... Like, if they add a new boat for ocean fishing or something like that. Um, for you to buy with in-game money. Uh, it will be interesting to see. Catch everything but carp. Oh, yeah. Hey, some people catch their uh, PB catfish fishing per carp, man. <laughs> you know how it is. Okay, alright. It's not huge, but it's bent the rod over anyway. We're not having any trouble reeling it in, unfortunately. There, I did that control right click to just to make sure we got that hook set, eh? How you doing, Kilo Knight says? Doing quite well, thanks for asking, Kilo. Here we go, here we go, what do we got? Ah, Pollock? Good size Pollock, too, come here. Let's go, man! And we leveled up to level 18. Oh, I'm loving these Pollock. Sweet. That's, uh, yeah. Wowie zowie. 5,600. Plus another 5,000. So 10,000, almost 11,000. Uh, 11, plus another 11,000. 22,000. I don't know why I add them up in my head when it literally tells me the total XP right there. Top notch. I hope these Pollock sure pay a lot. That would be the bonus. A little icing on the cake right there. So if you're, if you're wondering, if you're wondering, uh, you know, you're thinking, oh, Fishing Planet, DLCs, try these uh, new maps out. Uh, you know, could be 30, could be $40 or something like that to, to buy a pack to go fish on the Congo, right? Um, what does it cost to come out here and fish with the same setup I have, this boat, this rod, um, for a few days, right? You get five in-game days Russian fishing. How much does it cost? $12, $20, $30? How much does it cost? $2. Pay $2. Um, it's a free game, right? You play the game for free. Is $2 breaking the bank? Maybe it is. Maybe you'd better go buy a McChicken or something from McDonald's. But uh, if you want to just have a little bit of fun, do exactly what I'm doing right now. Um, go in there. It'll show Norwegian sea trip for five in-game days. Fishing equipment rentals included and then trip price. You can literally go on here, purchase the the gold po coin that you need. Noah! Thanks, Noah! Uh, use that gold coin that you need to, to get the in-game days or whatever. And, um, and you can fish here for five in-game days. Um, ocean fishing off the boat. The Riggs family with the sub. Thanks, Riggs family. Um, and I think you can do it three times. I think you can purchase it three times. So, six dollars in total. You can fish on the, uh, fish on the ocean map for a total of 15 in-game days. Obviously, not pressuring you into doing it. Play Russian 4, Fishing 4. It's a free game. There's no pressure. I'm not feeling bad talking you into playing a free game because it's it's literally free um but uh if you did want to purchase something small that what sounded like more fun than uh fishing for a small fish in winding rivulet or uh oldberg or something like that 
Yeah, a little bit of little bit of different ocean fishing. Never hurt nobody. You should add the orca boat from Jaws as a crash. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I expect to have a weathered sea captain, though, telling me stories about his time in the Navy. There we go. There we go. Another fish. Same thing, man. Bent over, rods bent over, but not really that 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 hard to reel in. Could be another po Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Got that hook set. Got that hook set we talked about. Okay, a little bit bigger. This is uh the closest we've gotten f to that one other fish that we had. We at least had to uh, pull up the line to get some slack to reel in, which is, you know, more than we had with the... The other one we had to do multiple times, mind you, but this one we had to do once. Get it up. Oh, it's another wolf fish! Are you joking me? Oh, that's cool, too! It's got a freaking hook. What are those things called? A gaff? It's got a gaff. Nice! <laughs> These things are sweet, dude. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my golly. Golly goodness, man. That is a fish. That is a fish. <laughs> oh. Ducko, the duck. Thanks, Ducko. Thirty pound blue catfish. Oh, nice. Pineapples with the sub. Thanks, pineapples. Happy hour only for premium. Yes, it is. It's only for premium. I, I will say, I I luck I lucked out. I did a video for Russian fishing for one time, and uh, and instead of payment, I just asked them for a lifetime of premium, and they were like, "Sweet, yeah, we can do that." Which honestly, I mean, to them they lose they lose nothing, right? Because it doesn't cost them anything. But a lifetime of premium in Russian fishing for is like twelve hundred dollars or something crazy. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. <laughs> but but uh but yeah, uh very nice Atlantic wolffish killing it three point eight five kgs. It's 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 that's nice fish. I like that stuff. I, I like that big old fish there. Got another one at forty seven. I'm trying to get that guy. That was with the yellow and red and green. Been geeking on it. Wish they had a game within Keys or Australia. That would be cool. I agree. You need food. Stop telling me I need food. I'm fine. There's no reason to have food. Do you know what food does in Russian Fishing 4? It gives you back energy, right? Where's our energy bar? We're at halfway. Okay? If that energy bar drops down, what do you, what do you do? What do you, what do you do? You bring up this, you hit a little thing of tea, you drink that tea, gets your energy up. You can drink some coffee, gets your energy up. You can do that in the middle of a fight. And what's good about the tea and the coffee? Doesn't really raise up. Well, I know the coffee anyway. I don't know about the tea. Doesn't really raise up your food bar that much, but it gives you energy. Because if you fill up your food bar, that's 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 as much as you can get energy wise you, you you do anything more at that point you can't really do much but the coffee especially gives you that energy food bar otherwise doesn't really do much as far as i'm aware any recommendation on how to level up quicker just catching the tiger fish in congo the congo the Congo bass, now, now perch. Those, those are the big, the big fish to catch, right? Other than all the catfish and whatnot. But say more curse words, fishing. <laughs> That's the reality, isn't it, Eric? figure out what's going on here we have a fish on it's small fish but we got one I, mean, I wasn't seeing the perking thing showing up 
Look a lot better in fishing plan and fish. Yeah, no, rods, equipment, fish, they they all look like there's some good fish in fishing plan. Don't get me wrong. There's some models in fishing plan that look pretty good. But Russian fishing for really takes equipment. Oh, this is a new fish too. A short horn sculpin. What in the world? All right, all right, you guys. Someone was asking me a while back, what's the funniest fish I've caught here? And I was saying I was looking for a fish that looked like my brother. I think we finally found it. This has got to be it. This has got to be the funniest looking fish we've caught so far. It looks just like my brother. Wild. Zachary? No, 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 it's a fish. It's not my brother. Oh, okay, we're good. God, you can zoom in really close. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, looks pokey, doesn't it? Even the, the gill, like a uh, plate and stuff like that looks pokey. Well, cool, that's a cool little fish. Take that guy. Catching some decent fish, decent little fish. Here we go, we got another fish showing up. Er, not really sure how deep, honestly. What's the best rod you have in real life? I'm not really sure. It depends on what you're fishing for, I guess. If you're fishing for catfish, then my bass rod's probably not that great. If you need a bass rod, then my, you know, my alligator gar and catfish rods probably aren't that great. I don't know if I, I don't know if I could just say one's my best rod. It's kind of like fishing plan or something. Giant hands in the sky and eclipse. Nope, never heard of that, Mike. Never heard of that one. We got one at 42 right now. There we go. Got this at 40 now. Perking, perking, perking. Yeah, I'm the master perker. And now we got two fish at 46. We're, we're on the money right now. We're in a good spot. There's definitely some fish out here. I'm gonna go stand out on the bow. I don't know, what do you guys like more? Do you like when we stare out into the, o the open water or do you like it when we stare at the islands over there? You tell me, which do you prefer? Maybe we'll move the boat around so we can look at something besides open water. I'll wait to retrieve the hook. <laughs> oh, our happy hour ended. Okay. That was fun while it lasted. When are you turning to South America and fishing plant? Now, it depends on uh, what wins the poll. I think we're going to do a poll for Wednesday, whether we're going to South America or we're going to Africa. So uh, make sure to vote if you want to see uh, us go to the Amazonian maze. Uh, then vote for that, and if you want to see us go to Africa, the Congo, then vote for that. I think that's what's going to decide where we go. You should do a soccer video. Really? Identical, Damien says. I know. It's identical. It's, it's uncanny. It's like they looked at a photo of my brother when they modeled that fish. Got your first compound bow. Very nice. What, uh, what kind of compound bow did you get? Just got here. I don't know what you're fishing for. We're fishing for all sorts of stuff. I guess we can do like a little recap of what we caught so far. We have caught a short horn sculpin. Here, I'll even I'll even shut my uh, camera off. That way we can see the fish better. So we got a short horn sculpin here. Interesting little fish. Kind of a uh, crazy looking one. We've caught two Atlantic's wolf Atlantic wolf fish. Which I tried so hard, I really wanted to catch these guys uh, my first time out here, but I never caught one. And we caught two of them so far this stream. We've got Pollock, which is uh, you know a common eating fish. And uh, basically, I honestly didn't know that there were actual Pollock. I thought that these safe were like uh, the Pollock, but with a different name or something like that. But uh, But no, there's actual Pollock as well. We've got a lot of safe, two Atlantic wolfish, a couple of Pollock. It's been a nice day fishing so far. Barnett Vortex Youth. Hey, nice, dude. Barnett's good brand. 
All you see is open water. This is probably re reminding you of bad times, huh? Reminding you of work. Catch some bulls on the golem lure. Really? I haven't heard of that one. The golem lure for bull shark, huh? Do we play on Microsoft Steam? No, we don't. We play on... Uh, do we play on Microsoft Fishing Planet, I assume was what you meant? We play on Steam. You got third place in your soccer? What is going on here? Alright. So we've got another decent fish on. We definitely did the we did the hookup. We've done it three times to make sure it's it's well hooked up. Okay. So far, we're not we're not having to create uh, any slack in the line to reel them up. We're just kind of muscling it up so far. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit heavier to reel in. Something decent on. We've drifted over into location C9. I'm not really sure where that is, but we, we're, we're now here. Haven't been here for a while, D12 says. What's up, you remember me? I remember everyone. What do we got? It looks like a pretty good size safe. A 9kg safe, and we got our new personal record for the biggest fish caught. Basically an 18, 18 plus pound safe there. Well, nice. I really wish we had some sense of scale in Russian Fishing 4. I'd love, you know, for the character to be holding on to it so we can really see how big that is. 18, I mean 72 centimeters. I don't know how long 72 centimeters is. This is 61 centimeters. So we know it's we know it's at least this length. So a little bit more than that. I don't even know I can't even show it on the camera. That's it's a little it's a heavy fish for only being another ten centimeters longer than this thing, basically. Eighteen pounds and this big? That's a, that's a heavy little fish there. That's 11 centimeters is 5 inches, so that's that's a 29-inch fish that weighs 18 pounds. 29 inches for 18 pounds? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. It certainly doesn't look like an 18-pound, 29-inch fish. My math's right, right? Could you imagine a, an 18-pound carp that was only 29 inches long? It'd be like one of those fat European carp. All right. Well, that's cool. That's a good-sized fish. Take that. We are having some more fish down at the 47 mark. Okay. Oh, no. I accidentally hit... <laughs> oh, shoot. I accidentally hit the shift when I uh, threw that. Darn it all. Just finished download Russian Fishing 4, very nice. Hey, uh, honestly, make sure you watch the uh, intro video. Watch the intro video that we did for Russian Fishing 4, it might help you a little bit. Just uh, understand how the game works and all that jazz. Also have a travel cost when going to the different fishing locations it does but it doesn't have um licenses so i guess it has a very slight um travel cost but there's no license fees oh we got a fish there we go doesn't seem very big at the moment that hookup thing the control right click i never knew that that's so interesting 101 viewers 101 viewers watching Russian fishing. Now I never really, I never really ex uh, expected that, but I like it. Can we get to 100 likes though? That's the question. That's the question. That's the real question. Another little safe. Take it. 
Wait, wait. Still fish on the sonar here? Whoa, not really anymore. I'll move forward a little bit. Always seems as we move forward, we start seeing more fish. Fair enough. Didn't even have to go that far. 43, 45 feet. It's just us drifting. We start drifting and we get out of where the fish are. 45 feet. Let's go. 45 meters, whatever. 25 meters, 30 meters. We're just waiting for our jig to hit the bottom, basically. And 45, there we go. Do you have a compound boat? I, I, I don't, no. I've always used my dad's whenever I needed one. I just always borrowed my dad's. Um, and I, it's a PSE something or other. I can't think of what the actual bow is. It has a bunch of antlers. Like, it's a, it's a black bow and has a bunch of white antlers, like, as a print on it. I might be able to look it up. Not really sure what it is. It was 30k. Tell all my friends to, and people at my school. Hey, we've caught three Pollock so far, but I uh, I have to catch another one, I guess, on channel. So you need premium to acquire those gold coins? No. No. You don't. the The gold coins are are purchased with with money. It's it. They have it set up different than than Fishing Planet. Uh, essentially, pretty much any item in the game. Not really, but. You know, fairly, fairly, pretty, pretty, blah, 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 blah. pretty much any item in the game. We'll just say that. I know it's not, but pretty much any item in the game can be purchased with gold coins. You can purchase gold coins kind of like a mobile game just by paying real life money. It's just for people who just don't have the time or just don't want to spend time in the game earning silver to purchase them or just making them yourself. Like there's, there's plenty of crafting recipes to like, you know, we got a fish on. It's a small fish, but we got a fish on. Uh, plenty of crafting recipes and stuff to like cut up a fish into, you know, fish chunks or something like that. But, um, but if you're lazy and you don't want to catch a fish to cut up into fish chunks or something like that, then, you know, you put five bucks in the game and then you just purchase fish chunks with your gold coins. <gasps> no way. We got a little tiny shark. Look at this thing. What a cutie. <laughs> That's hilarious. Does he have any teeth? Not really. Spiny dogfish. I mean, he looks like a shark. He's got one spine right there before his pectoral fin. fin. Oh, oh, well, yeah, he's got little spines right before his pectoral fin. Very nice. Well, that's cool. Certainly not a big shark. There are bigger sharks here, including the Greenland shark, which is ginormous. But uh, I honestly don't think I'd be able to reel that in with this rod anyway, so I'm kind of glad we didn't catch that. I'll show you a picture. There, uh, there are... Uh, Greenland sharks here. Greenland. Yeah. 734 kgs. Like, yeah, it's like 1,500 pounds or something like that. Could you imagine? It's ginormous. Greenland shark. There's also, what else? A poor beagle. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. That's 225 kgs. That's at least 450 pounds. Uh, that's a spiny dogfish we just caught. They can get up to 12 kgs, it looks like. So, definitely some sharks here. We just caught the smallest one we could possibly get, I guess. <laughs> Look at this Atlantic football fish, like an angler fish. That would be cool. That would be cool as well. Okay, still at that 45 mark or so. Let's go. 
What gun do you use for hunting? You use a 6.5 Creedmoor? I tell you what, growing up, I used a uh, 25-06 for pretty much everything. Remington 700, 25-06 for, for deer hunting, coyotes, all that sort of stuff. Um, since then, I bought a 300 Win Mag, which uh, we might be taking up to Alaska this next year. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. I, uh, my best friend and I, we tried to make it happen this year, but we ran out of vacation days. So we're going to try and see if we can make it happen next year. Go up for a caribou hunt in Alaska. Which I'm excited to do as a video, so that should be pretty cool. Love your content. Haven't been in lives recently, so decided to watch today's stream. Love your content a lot. Keep up. Keep at it. Well, thanks, slow motion. Appreciate it. What's screen stream schedule? Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30. There's Greenland sharks in this game? There is, yeah. Don't understand why it's so expensive to unlock areas permanently. In Fishing Planet? I don't know either. The bluefin tuna? Is there bluefin tuna? I don't remember all the fish very well. I know that there's a uh, swordfish in here. What's my biggest fish in the game? We literally just caught it just not too long ago. It was a uh, nine and a half kg safe, basically. Kind of cool, but I don't know. Getting it through this weird little DLC trial run thing kind of feels uh, less genuine, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Eric, throwing out questionable tips as always. You tried gifting a membership. Did anyone get I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. 300 win mag, big gun. My dad has one. Yeah. Shoulder feels for you. <laughs> I was talking just the uh, the last time we, uh, we were talking about it. I got this nice cushion for it, and it doesn't feel too bad. It's pretty nice. I don't, I, I, I guess still after, you know, I don't know. After you do a few shots though, you, uh, I don't know, it's all mental. I think you still get a little in your head that you're like, okay, it's coming. And, uh, and your shots may suffer a little bit, but, but otherwise it's not too bad. Come on, perking. We need another fish here, boys. Oh, really? Okay, so they are here. Okay, I got you, Damien. On Emerald hunting the walleye, very nice. How am I doing today? Doing quite well, LD. How you doing? For a few days and was way different than fishing plan. Yeah, Stone, I was actually just talking about this. Um, if you want to do a little trial of uh, ocean fishing, just for fun, something different to do, for the price of a McChicken, uh, essentially, you can come out here and, and fish on the ocean for five in-game days. I just thought it would be fun for videos and live streams and stuff like that, so thought we'd give it a go. But, uh, but yeah, we might be having a few more videos on Russian Fishing 4 here in the future that uh, might be going after some larger fish. I think, uh, I'm not sure, I, I don't know if, it, if it's really a secret or anything, but Russian, the old people from Russian Fishing 4, the great people they are, asked me to, uh, to make a video catching, or at least chasing some of the larger fish here, so, so we're gonna get into their, uh, their account and use some of the bigger rods and reels and fancier setups and go for some of the big fish, like swordfish and sharks and stuff like that so we'll see if we can catch any and make a fun video of that so i guess if you're looking forward to that then you know yeah, just be patient i guess huh <laughs> is that a pheasant on your wall behind you it is it is indeed do you have a hunting channel well i mean we have a we have an outdoor channel but uh, I haven't put anything on it for a while, and I have an alligator guard video that's still being edited. Should be coming out anytime soon, I keep saying. Waiting for the editor to finish editing it. 
but I'm um I'm getting impatient. I'm getting impatient. I want to see it done. White says there's fish down there, but they are not going for this thing right now. Let's switch to that chrome and blue one again. Give that a try. Chrome and blue, chrome and blue. I see you. I see me. You see me and I see you. That that would rhyme. There we go. Do you suggest DLCs for Fishing Planet? No, I don't. On the boat, threw it over and it disappeared without the rope. So yeah. Oh no, slow motion. Oh no. All right, here we go. Now we're at it again. This game looks so realistic. It does. Yeah, yeah it does have its uh, does have its features about it. And the the equipment and the fish look pretty nice, and the and the water looks pretty good. Fishing planet, tame and fishing planet, very nice. What's the biggest fish in that game? Pfft, that's a great question. I don't know. It might be the new Greenland shark, 800 and some odd pounds. Um, but I'm not sure. I know the swordfish get pretty big too. There's a fish. That chrome and blue, I knew it. That was what we needed to do. Switch to that chrome and blue spoon, and we got him. You make money by making fishing. You can now say you're a pro angler. I'm a pro digital angler. Is this a whiting? Now that's a new fish too. Another 7,000 experience. Holy crap. Well, howdy doody, little whiting. Little, little fishy boy. How you doing? How you doing, little boy? Nice. Well, that's a different fish. Kind of reminds me of like a haddock or something like that. With the pollock and all that. I mean, it has that little line down the side and has the fins kind of similar. It's so neat. Do that. Keep it going here. All right. We're going to break for a little uh, commercial moment so I can do th some stuff and get back. But uh, yeah, see you in just... Just a few minutes if I don't hit the mute button too fast. Easy Hub Halftime Show, not sponsored by any of these brands. Now, take it away, Dwarven Pirate! Arr! Aren't you tired of not being a part of the ship of BZ Hubbards? Well, are you? Support Bo and the BZ Hub by becoming a member today for only two measly doubloons! And if you're feeling extra generous, become a Hub Lord for only ten pieces of booty a month! But if you've got treasure bursting from your pockets, become a hub master for only 20 doubloons a month. And that's a great price. And if you ask Bo, he'll say I'm cutting this a little short. What? Wait, is that a height joke? <laughs> Curse you, Bo! A fast ye matey! A guy! And now, a glimpse into the future. Broadcast. I just wanted to say thanks. Welcome to the BZ Hub Halftime Show, not sponsored by any. Alrighty, we're back. It's raining now. Wish there were interior lights for the boat. It's kind of scary. Kind of scary being out here by myself. Wouldn't it be crazy if, like, the fin of a Greenland shark just went by or something like that? Ooh. Ooh. That'd freak you out. I don't see any fish on the sonar, too, so I'm kind of feeling stupid about throwing this out. I wish there was a rod holder. That would be nice, too. As far as I'm aware, there's no rod holders. Oh, 
Rod holder, rod holder. One up here, rod holder up here. Put it in that little, little black thing right there. Let's put it right there. Hmm. The new Megalodon. Lugus Sturge on one of the maps. Don't remember the size, though. Alrighty, let's move this along. See where we can uh, find some more fish. Well, there's fish right there. Didn't have to move very far, did we? Down at the 45 mark again. Are there monster fish in Russian fishing? There's no like like crazy fantasy fish per se. Uh, as far as I'm aware, but there's certainly some very large fish. There is a whole collection of fish down at this depth, so I'm hoping we can get into some good ones. Should try to catch a bluefin here? Yeah. So the devs told me that we shouldn't expect to catch anything too heavy on this equipment. So I'm kind of afraid to go after a bluefin just because I'm not sure like how it would work. And I'm not really sure where to get them either. I'm assuming we'll have to fish some deeper depths. And I also don't know what like what lures they'd go for. If you, if you can look it up and if they go for one of these uh, perking lures, then uh, we can certainly go try to find one. You tell me where on the map to go. And, uh, and we can go try to find a bluefin tuna. I'm up for it. What about the fish? That's a fish. How do you know when there's a fish on your rod in real life? It depends on what I'm fishing for. I feel a little little bit of weight change if the line starts moving in another direction feels like I've snagged something what do we got a little safe again come on you a little 3 kg safe nice well it looks like there's a pretty good sized fish at the bottom Let's see if he goes for this at the very bottom So it's 46 right now. three different fish that showed up at this depth so hopefully one of them goes for this get to 180 okay i don't think we'd be able to handle 180 because this rod is only like 80 so we could probably handy handle a 20 kg thanks damien fishing planet i don't know um, I'm sure they have some sort of Mongolian bait that would work better, like some sort of minnow. Um, but can't really recall at the moment. We always liked using topwater lures as well. How do you fish a pond for bass? Um, I always went for some sort of structure. 
I targeted structure first, and then if I had uh, a good lane to like throw it along the edge, basically, I'd also go for that. It would be like, if I was looking at a pond for the first time, I'd be looking for bits of structure, logs that fall in trees, I don't know what else, vegetation of some sort, um, and then I'd be looking for good spots where I can throw down the edge of the pond out a little ways. Usually there's moss and stuff along the edge of the pond, at least in Kansas. Um, so I'd go just beyond that, that way if they are sitting that little zone there then they can kind of come out and ambush but i really don't fish for bass all that much in fact the last place we went to fish and they said they had bass and catfish in their little farm pond uh we ended up we went around looking for a bass i ended up getting one but i had a knot issue i guess it was a pretty good size one too it was a it was what you'd probably call lunker um and it and it came and, and took it and i you know went to set the set the uh, hook and it just popped off and i was like oh my god you're joking me for a guy that does not fish for bass that would have been a pretty nice bass <laughs> to to not fish for um and we ended up throwing out a hot dog on a hook because they said their catfish go for hot dogs on hooks so we did that and ended up catching a nice little eight eight pound uh channel cat so that was kind of fun but uh but yeah it was cold it was a cold day early early spring like march or something like that so we just we're just lucky we caught what we caught i guess see you on wednesday hey see you later kira thanks for being here Fish in the lakes near you have mercury in them. Most pond fish eat smaller fish. Yeah, I, I know I've caught a lot of uh, crappie and bass just on little crappie jigs. You know, they make a little fun little motion in the you know, little jerky motion in the water, and I've I've caught bass and crappie on those. So. Area 41 caught it with a Z-Man Lurker lure, I think. Not sure what kind of lure that is, though. A Z-Man Lurker lure, huh? I've got Z-Man Dapper Pilks. Z-Man Lurker, huh? I got a Karuna Hunter. <laughs> I don't see a Lurker, though. Might have to go look at the store or something. Let's catch one more fish, maybe. Unless just we can't find anything else. Um, and then uh, let's go back to port. Oh, there's fish down there now. Of course there is. Too. There's all sorts of fish showing up now. Pond magic spinner baits and buzz baits, huh? I don't think I've ever seen or heard about those. Any day, isn't it? Perhaps we should uh, go for a uh, brighter lure if it's going to be rainy, rainy and cloudy.
switch to that yellow one. We're definitely going to go back to port before the end of the stream, though. That way we can see how much uh, money we got from our fish. It's a nice sized fish down at the bottom. Forty four, it says. Fishing inside, you know it. Caught nothing on the weekend. I don't know. How was your day? I had a great day. Thanks for asking. Did some good work. Took the dogs for a walk. Made some dinner. Watched some Ted Lasso. And then... And now I'm here. Ocean fishing Norwegian Sea. Do I like Jimmy Houston Outdoor? I don't have anything against Jimmy Houston Outdoors. Just don't... Just don't watch it. Oh, okay. I got you, man. Well, oh, there's a fish. Doesn't seem very big, but we got one. Got one all the same. It's another safe. Urgh, I want something cooler than a safe. We keep catching so many dang safes. Let's move a little bit. Let's go somewhere we haven't really gone. We're a little bit further in or something. 96 people watch it with 96 likes. I know. I know. Ah, uh, yeah. Right around that 40 foot mark. Get it down to 40 and start start jigging from there what's better about this game to make you get off fishing plant um, I haven't completed it yet. I haven't gotten to the end of Russian fishing. The the only thing keeping me playing Fishing Planet right now is is videos. You know, people want more videos of Fishing Planet. Otherwise, if if I wasn't making videos of Fishing Planet, I probably would have stopped playing it years ago. Boy, we stopped, and now the fish have disappeared completely. I wonder what that dashed line meant. Because there was a death dashed line on the sonar, now it's gone. What does it mean? What does it mean? Whoa! Are you joking me? Did we... 
we snag into the boat or is that a fish? What in the world just happened? I'm bewildered. I'm bewildered right now. Level 12 and broke. You're level 12 and broke. Shouldn't, shouldn't be broke at level 12. Especially if you've been following the free to play beginner series. This is the beautiful ocean we're used to now. That's a fish. This is a pretty good sized fish, actually. Well, okay, getting a little bit of redo on that one big, uh, big fish that we missed out on a while back, earlier in the stream. Red and yellow. Now max on all platforms, oh my goodness. It's, uh, it's slow, but it's muscling it up, whatever it is. Oh my god. Are you joking me? Looks like a freaking- it's a monkfish, is it? No, it's one of the- what in the world is this thing? Oh my god, it's hitting the boat engines right now. Ah, it's, it's spinning out of control. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like a dragon. It looks like a dragon. <laughs> oh my god, this is the highlight. This is... <laughs> this is the highlight of my fishing career. Oh my god, look at this thing. <laughs> Oh my, that is ridiculous. A European angler. Look, it has little uh, plants growing on the bottom of it. That is wild, dude. Look at it spinning its thing up top here to like lure fish in and everything. Dude, this game is so freaking cool. I just wish it wasn't so hard to level up and get money. Otherwise, this game is so cool. Good golly. Level up, make money, not just in Russia. I guess they went out of their, uh, they went out a little bit with the Norwegian Sea. Look at it move on its face. <laughs> and it pivot back and forth. Oh my, what a freaking alien, man. That's insane. So cool. Wow. All right, top notch. I have to get some pictures of this dude. Okay. Well, what time is it? 9.18, we got time. We got time. We don't have to go back to port just yet. There's another fish at the bottom. Oh boy, our energy really, really, uh, went down there. Right down a little bit past 40. Looks like a super rare fish. It makes you wonder. 
Got to the stream. All right on, Trey. Well, man, if you know, if you if you watched all the videos, then you know you should be doing a level 12, right? And if you can't be doing that, then you need to go back to, to Lone Star or something free and then work your way up. Should be this stream thumbnail. It was wild, man. Got to go. All right. See you later, Lucas. Let's see what other fish we can catch in the next uh, five minutes or so. Before we uh, head back to port and see how much money we can get from selling all these fish. Well, there was fish on the sonar. Not so much anymore. do I oh do I really not much going on here now all the fish have disappeared I, I do not I do not know Jay fish at 43 okay here we go getting a getting a few more fish to show up right at that 40 mark 39 feet 39 meters whatever cool catch thanks See if we can catch something in the next three minutes here. Oh, cool. It's neat. Yep, yeah, uh, Mike Iconally, man, he's got a cool job. Cool uh, being able to travel around with that show that he did. I, I'd love to do something just like that. And it was honestly his, uh, I haven't actually seen the actual show just because I can't figure out where to watch it, but his um, fishing in Taiwan video is kind of giving me ideas of stuff to do while I'm there. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, he did do a video fishing in Taiwan. It was part of his uh, fish fish my city or something like that. His National Geographic show. Oh, here we go. We got fish. D, what's going on, man? It's gonna be another safe. Another 
safe. All right, top notch. We've caught a good number of fish today, boys. Let's bring the old boat in. Bring the old boat in. Time to take her home. Well, now we're finding all the fish. Jeez. Have I ever fished in Louisiana? No, I haven't. I wanted to last time I was there, um, but uh, I just didn't have didn't have a chance. Do you watch the Bassmasters? No, I don't. I'm not a big bass fishing guy. I think it's. I I have my own thoughts about it, but I don't I don't watch it. I think it's kind of boring. To me. I'll have to look it up after stream, man. I mean, like I said, I can't figure out how to watch the actual episode. I don't have cable or anything like that. I don't know. Maybe I can find it on Voodoo or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to watch the actual episode in Taiwan. I know that he went to some sort of pay lake while he was there, too. But, uh, there's definitely some fish I'd love to catch in Taiwan. Uh, the big old snakehead. Big one. I'm not sure if I'll be able to because it'll be so cold by the time I get there. But who knows? Um... Uh, Masir would be cool. Cool to get. What else? Else would be cool. I mean, there's a lot of ocean fish around Taiwan. That would be kind of neat, too, but... I'll bootleg it. There you go. Beep? What is the beep for? Just got here, so I need to ask what game is this? It doesn't look like Fishing Planet. No, this is Russian Fishing 4. Boy, there's a lot of fish that were just right there. Look at it. You can't even see it. It's just fish after fish after fish in that shallower water right here that we just went through. Well, we need to remember that for another time, maybe. What did you catch? We're going to be going over that just here in a little bit. We're driving to the port right now. That way we can uh, sell everything we've caught so far. So we're going to be going over everything we've caught and we're going to be selling it here before the stream ends. So if you're looking forward to that. We've got some good fish, man. Caught some cool ones, that's for sure. I'm a freshman with all sophomores and there was the old substitute teacher in the summer who got the remote on YouTube. That was the most entertaining class of your life. I bet so, man. Sounds like it. Neat, yeah, I read that already. Carl, fish with Carl. Present started. You just recently you started playing mobile fishing planet. Very cool whiskey. Just got back on the fishing grind. Started watching your videos all over again. Love your channel. How positive you have a good stream, man. Hey, thanks, sports. Appreciate it. All right, we're almost there. It's a beautiful day on the Norwegian Sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. boat it's been fun it's been fun let's see what we can sell here let's go check out the cafe first to see if there's any cafe orders we can fill might be uh might be some good stuff that we can uh, make here there's the cafe over there or the fish market though that is the grocery store where's the cafe are you the cafe through the workshop Administration. Cafe. There's the cafe. All right, fingers crossed that there's stuff. Oh, there's a freaking ATM. There. Here we go. 
European hake. No. Literally nothing. Um, how can there only be six orders to fill? Boy, the freaking scallops were paying good. All right, well, it looks like we're going to be selling all our fish to the other place. Fish market. All right, so one of the coolest ones we caught was this European angler. That was a cool fish. We got a whiting. We got lots of safe. A little shorthorn sculpin. A uh, couple of different Atlantic wolf fish. That was pretty neat. Um... But yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, those Atlantic Wolf fish are selling at 26 and 30. Nice. And that European angler's at 38, so that's pretty sweet too. What can we get for everything? 266 silver. That's that's the most I've ever made in this game. <laughs> that's almost double what I have right now. Yes. The most expensive fish, a new personal record. Let's go. Have I ever made pumpkin bread before? I have. Yeah, we used to make it every uh, every autumn, man. Love pumpkin bread. All right, Bjorn's bait shop. That's my dog's bait shop right there. So that's pretty sweet. Let's see what they have. It's all gold though. Can't buy it with silver, unfortunately. You can buy these with silver. Wonder if we could put that on the uh, end of our, put one of these little lug worms on the end of our uh, thingamabob. It's 198 silver though. I don't have money for that. No way, Jose. All right, well, top notch. Good to see. Good to see. Well, I think that's gonna do it, everyone. This has been fun. This has been fun. We leveled up. We're uh, halfway to 19 now too. So that's pretty sweet. But uh, any in real life walleye fishermen in here? I don't do it too often, though. Don, if you remember I changed my name, I'm not sure if I told you. No, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Can't wait for the sea fishing and fishing planet. I can't either. Can uh, you brighten my day up? Didn't say that I'm not mad that you brightened my day up and the fishing planet vids are super helpful. I love your video. Well, thanks, fishing with Carl. 60, uh, close to the Congo. Very nice, very nice. I'm watching the seagull take off now. All right. Well, top notch, everyone. This has been great. I've been having a great time, and uh, I'm glad that we caught some interesting fish made for some fun. I might make a short after that, uh, uh, off of that angler fish that we caught. But anywho, um, glad you could all make it. We'll see you on Wednesday. We'll put out a poll to see if we're going to be fishing the Amazon or the Africa, so make sure you vote. But until then, take care, and as always, remember everyone. One planet, one family, game on. One family, game on.